Hello viewers of the People Systems channel, my name is Daniel and today we are reviewing a very interesting topic, the Internet of Things, smart home, algorithms and automation for your EasyViz home cameras and how to turn it on and set it up. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. The topic name speaks for itself, the automation for EasyViz cameras allowing you to pre-programmed chains of actions so it will execute without your attention. How it all works? To start off, EasyViz has some agreements with Amazon Alexa and Google Home who allow a third-party devices to integrate into their system so they will be full-fledged and equivalent units. And this time my mission is to review these nine comments and algorithms in front of you and to disclose to you how you can make it work for yourself because it's not that difficult. And this whole thing works via a third partner of EasyViz. Let me just switch to it. Via the service of automating internet services and smart things. You probably know, well, that's it. And what's even more interesting is that both Google Home and Amazon Alexa, in this case, transfer those inputted in them comments to EasyViz through it, which is the middle link in this whole story. So for the review, I took three most relevant EasyViz cameras. This is the EasyViz C3WN, EasyViz C1C 2 megapixel 1080p and EasyViz C6CN 1080p 2 megapixels. So I have activated them all already and added into my account in the EasyViz app, so you will see it. I guess the phone will be somewhere right here. Also, I got installed on my phone the IFT app. I got Google Assistant and I need, and I've got Amazon Alexa. And note that all of these apps are required for our automation to work. So what happened just now, I went to the IFT website on my computer and here you see all the comments that I use and they all are sorted by service, that is Alexa, Android SMS, Widget Button and so on. And we go into the EasyViz folder where we have grouped all the comments that I found and selected specifically for EasyViz in the entire service and some I created myself. Now let's take a look at each individual algorithm <laughs> and start from the uh, EasyViz and email. So, this is the get an email when your EasyViz camera senses motion detection events. And so, yeah, email notifications for motion detection events. And honestly, I was really surprised by the fact that email notifications comment is relatively popular. Almost a thousand users. Probably someone is so comfortable with emails. So, it's highly simple. As soon as EasyViz camera detects a movement, you receive a notification screaming about an alarm event in the form of an email to a pre-specified mailbox. Now let's take a look at it. All right, so get an email when your EasyViz camera senses motion, regardless of which camera you are actually using. So press and connect. This is what I love is with uh, it app for a simplicity. And I got this setting screen. But what you will get during your first comment setup, you will get the authorization window for EasyViz. So yeah, you gotta authorize into the EasyViz account and put in your username and password in there. And uh, after that, your IFT account and EasyViz account will be linked to each other and you'll get to the settings screen for the comment. What we do here, we select a device, which is C1C for me, but well, whatever the camera you are using, you are selecting C1C. And be sure in this which alarm type field, select a motion detection alarm among all other options. Done and save. There we go. Yeah, come on, I was connected successfully. This is what we have needed. So all other comments come, uh, that will be reviewed further on in the videos will be configured in the same way with only maybe a few minor differences. Well, but, but that's it. But, and you don't actually have to log in anymore into your EasyViz account for the run. So this is how it goes, this is how it looks. And now let's test it out. So we're gonna trigger EasyViz camera. Let me go to the EasyViz app. And there you can see EasyViz C1C and I got my alarm notifications on with this highlighted blue running man. All right, all right. Now I'm triggering it. 
you can hear the sound, that beep. And you can also see my hand. Hello. And you can see Val. Yeah. Hi, man. Hi there. How are you doing? Great. I knew you were doing well. And this is how would look your comment. 1622, 1622. There we go. The alarm was triggered April 14, 2020. You don't see notifications coming from up my screen. Well, because I'm in the night mode right now for the video. And that's it. Now let's move on. And now you're going to see the comment for the sake of which it was worth tackling the whole thing at all. Like buy easy this camera, uh, configure it, install if on the phone, watch the video up to this point. Well, push yourself to do some actions. So that is a passive contact class automation that makes comments to be executed without buttons and without preset schedules exclusively depending on your location, which of course changes true thought the entire day. And that's it was awesome. Practically, at the moment you got home, the camera goes into sleep mode to maintain your privacy. Nothing so special, except that you don't need to press anything. You don't have a preset schedule. It doesn't matter what time you get home. The results are the same. Sleep mode on cams wherever you got home. The configuration is the same. You find this comment in the if by the name. I have left all the comment names in the description for you. You turn it on, press it connect. There you go, this setup where you, you know, you do what? You select your activity zone. As for me, I selected right like this. There we go. Selecting, saving. And uh, in the here, toggle sleep mode, you select on and select a device, which is a C1C. For me, this is the serial number of the C1C camera that I've got. And done. And by the way, there you can see this action will turn the sleep mode on or off. When sleep mode is on, supported models, mini and mini all. That's what I wanted to tell you. Let this inscription not bother you because I've tested this on like C6CN, C2WN, C1C, and the results are identical. It works for all and it works just perfectly fine. Now I'm saving. There you are, there you are. And now let me show you how it looked for me. And by the way, when if application asks you to asks for your permission to monitor your geolocation, let it track you all the time. For, so it's like required for this camera to work. And conclusion, this is what we expected from the Internet of Things and Smart Home. The presence of exactly such functionality. And maybe I'm overplaying the importance of it, but this is only because now it is available in one of the simplest and cheapest home cameras on the market. I mean, it would be okay if this were in some cool system for $1,000 and above, but we are talking about cheapy home Wi-Fi camera. And now the Google Assistant that you can see here. It's simple. Turning off motion detection and turning on sleep mode with a voice via Google Assistant and if. And the first one is, okay, Google, turn off notifications and go to sleep. That I couldn't get to work, so I'm not gonna show it. And the second one is, okay, Google, turn on motion alerts. Nevertheless, if you add the camera to the assistance application manually, you can do it exactly the same way with your voice, only without if, with the assistance only. But anyway, and what we are doing now, OK Google, active is this alerts, motion alerts, notification. All right, so first of all, beforehand, first thing you gotta do, you gotta go to assistant, just log in, or if, if not create an account, or whatever. Then you gotta first, you gotta add your EasyViz camera to Google Assistant. So we go to our profile, go to Home tab, and here you can see my three cameras, C2WN, C6CN, and C1C. And to add a camera for you, you press add, you locate, you search for EasyViz here, you'll find it and press check for new devices. That's what we do. We're waiting. EasyViz was linked. Here again, you'll be asked to log in your EasyViz account from the Google Assistant app via built-in browser. That's what you do. Input your user data, log in, and next your Google Assistant gets linked to your EasyViz account and you get back here to this screen. And now, yeah, again, Google found three cameras under my subnet, under my network, which is C1C, C2WN, and C6CN. And as you can see, C1C was already tied to a hole. 
So whatever the camera you are picking, tie it to any room that you want, but this just have to be done. And then you press done, you go back and you'll have like this with the switches on off. And the Google Assistant is all about the voice. Amazon Alexa, Siri, it's all about the voice. So we go back to Ift. Now, of course, you search for the comment, you find it. Okay, Google Active is easy this alert notifications. Names I'm gonna leave in the description. And you go to settings. Well, you press connect, go to settings. And now what you do, what do you wanna say? What's another way to say it? You just create a comment, a phrase, a sentence, how you want to turn this comment on. And for me, it's activate alarm. And what you're gonna do here, yeah, language, pick English, uh, pick a device, which is C1C for me, and which mode is on. So this one will turn on motion detection alerts. So let's, let's I don't know, uh, let's suppose that I'm going to the work at the morning and I'm opening my Google Assistant and saying, Google Assistant, activate alarm. Now let's do it. Go into Assistant back and saying okay Google oh, oh oh hold on I'm gonna show you easy this that they are not activated there's the easy this and there's easy this c1c let me press it and here you can see alarm notifications are off get back and now the Google assistant okay Google activate alarm and there you go alarm is on and what is happening? We refresh and alarm was on. So every time an alarm be spotted, we'll be notified, which is just great. Let's move on. Now this is the comment that I wanted to show you. So we're in the ift, we're in the ease of this, and so there's a turn on sleep mode when I arrive home. Now let me show you the settings that I've got for it. There we go. So that's my region. Now I'm going straight there. That's my office location. And now let me, before that happens, let me show you that my EasyVis C1C is 100% aligned. There is it. Just going on. The live stream. And by well, the end of this video, when I'm just going to come over there and be really close, this connection is going to work out. So we're going to head back to easy this app and now just wait get in right now I'm gonna see the update as well and there you can see now the camera is in sleep mode like 100% and there we are. Let me just turn it on. So in the next video, you are going to see a bigger part of this comments and algorithms review. So be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to not miss out, to don't miss any of our videos and the upcoming part two that will be even more interesting. And by the way, in the People System store, you can get any of uh, easy this cameras reviewed today and also IMO cameras and many other brands high vision Dahua that's the intercom systems alarm systems cameras and just many other else things and of course your comments your descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below and I will personally answer each one and thank you for watching subscribe and don't miss out